Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very long cleaning video, so you better get ready for this one. It's gonna be over an hour long. So in the first part of this video, I'm just showing you guys everything I'm gonna be using today. I actually showed you all of these products the other day in a haul. So yeah, if you watched that video, then you will know all of the products that I'm using in this video. <laughs> So I was just taking everything out of my cabinet, putting it on my counter, and now I'm going to add some more water to this mixture. So I'm gonna be using this cleaner to like clean off some surfaces and mop my floor with, and it's just the Fabuloso Complete mixed with water in this glass spray bottle that I got from Grove. I'm gonna be cleaning my windows and my mirrors with this Spray Away Foam Glass Cleaner. I love this stuff, it's so fun. I'm also going to be using this all-purpose cleaner I got from Walmart and it's just great value brand and it's lemon scented. I'm also gonna be trying out the vinegar and Dawn mixture in this little scrubby scrubber that I got. <laughs> I'm gonna be spraying some of this Glade around my apartment powder fresh scent. This stuff smells so good. And I'm also going to be making my fabric softener mixture for my bed sheets and all that, which is just Suavitel and water. And I'm going to be using a little baking soda today too, y'all. So I actually get asked all the time, how much fabric softener do you put in the mixture? And I don't measure it, y'all, but I'm showing you right here, this is about how much I put in the bottle. I literally just put a really small amount, and then I put the rest water. As long as the mixture still has a little bit of blue color to it, I know that it's good enough, but if it starts looking too clear, then I need to add more of the Suavitel, which is what I'm doing now. I literally don't measure anything. I just pour and mix, and that looks about right. You see that pretty color blue? Perfect. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be cleaning today is my makeup desk, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, even if I clean my apartment every day of life, I don't barely ever clean my makeup desk, and it gets so messy and so cluttered, so I figured I would go ahead and tackle this today. So I'm just taking everything off of the makeup desk first. I'm gonna wipe everything down. I'm gonna go through some of my brushes because I have way too many brushes and I don't need all of them. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. And if you see me wiping my brushes off on a paper towel or you see me touching the brushes too much, that's because my cats love to get up on my makeup desk and they rub their body against my makeup brushes. So my makeup brushes always have cat hair on them. And seriously, it's awful. So yeah, if you see me doing that, that's what I'm doing. I love this little white spinning organizer thing, but if you ever order one, it comes with these little rubber bands that help hold on the little shelves. Well, I never knew that when I first got it, so my shelves are constantly falling and it's really annoying. But overall, um, I like it because it helps me to organize things and I like that it's customizable. You can move the shelves wherever you want them to go so you can fit certain things on certain little shelves. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And if you're wondering about my desk, that is actually an Ikea dupe. Um, the top of the desk is from like Lowe's or Home Depot. It's just called a shelf and the drawers are from Michael's and you buy them separately. Um, and my light up mirror on the top there is from Amazon and it's like amazing. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. You guys can watch me clean this little desk off. I know I have a lot of stuff up there. I need to really go through it and declutter, but I'll save that for another day.
So now my desk looks so nice and neat and so fresh and clean, but it will probably end up messy again soon and then I'll have to go through this all over again. So now it's time to make my bed and I am taking the tin foil off the back of my bed just so I can wipe the headboard down. I get asked a lot like, why do you have tin foil on the back of your bed? Is that tin foil on the back of your bed? Why are you doing that? So I've explained it a million times, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it again. Oh, by the way, I am using that spray just on a paper towel and wiping that down. Anyway. So I put tin foil on the back of my bed because my cats love to jump on the headboard um, like in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep and they're like nine, 10 pound cats. So when they jump on the back of the headboard, they ain't thinking about your head and then they body slam your head while you're sleeping. And you know, it's enough to give you a heart attack. So uh, my cats don't like tin foil. So I put tin foil back there because that stops them from jumping on the back of the bed and in the end i don't get um <laughs> body slammed by cats on my head and i sleep better so yeah if you ever see that tin foil back there now you know okay so now i am spraying my fabric softener mixture on my pillows and my sheets and my blanket and oh my god it just smells so fresh and so good and don't worry my cats were not in here while i was doing this okay And now I am going to lint roll the back of my decorative pillows, okay? Because the back of them are black, so you see the cat hair really bad. But we obviously know that there's cat hair all over the front and the blanket and my pillows and pretty much everywhere. I probably have cat hair coated lungs for all I know because these cats, the hair is just literally everywhere. So yeah, um, I'm just lint rolling the back of them because you can see it so bad on the back of the pillows. Not that anybody cares. I mean, who's even looking at the back of my pillows? But you know what? I care. All right? I care. <laughs>
So now I'm just gonna take everything off of my husband's nightstand. I'm gonna wipe it all down. I'm also gonna wipe um, his nightstand down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on my nightstand. And if this is your first time seeing the nightstand of my husband's and you see those two pictures of me in the picture frames and you think to yourself like everybody else, oh my God, she has a picture of herself in a picture frame um, because that's actually been said before. First off, let me tell you, if I wanted a picture of me in a picture frame, that's my prerogative. But my husband had those pictures printed out. He bought those frames and he put my picture in the frame and he put it on his nightstand. Okay, just so you know now you know okay so now that i am done being super sassy let me tell you what i'm doing right now i am vacuuming my blinds that's right i don't have a duster at the moment and um i've actually probably never done this before but i noticed there was some cat hair on my blinds and i was like oh <laughs> what am i gonna do about that so i just picked up the vacuum grabbed that hose put the little extender thing on there and started vacuuming the blinds if you haven't tried it i highly suggest it it actually worked out pretty good by the way, our apartment is new and we just moved in here not too long ago. So my place isn't actually like dirty dirty. There's not like inches worth of dust on my blinds. It was mainly just a little bit of dust, you know, like everyday dust and tons of cat hair. So I'm just using my little Fabuloso Complete Mixture to wipe off the nightstands. I've actually had a lot of people asking me lately what I thought about this cleaner. I've used just the reg regular Fabuloso before and I love it, but this was the first time ever trying out the Fabuloso Complete. And so here's my thoughts. I love the way it smells and the color is so pretty, but I think I put too much soap and not enough water um, so I really wasn't a big fan of it on my floors. I feel like it made my floors and my countertop pretty streaky, but that's not the product's fault. I think that's my fault. Like I said about the, the water ratio and cleaner, you know, that that's my problem because I don't use a bucket and I'm not measuring and I probably put more cleaner than water or I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Do you? But yeah, overall, I actually like it. Like I said, it left some streaks, but maybe that's my fault. That's my problem. I don't know, but I like it, so I'll continue to use it.
So I end up vacuuming this rug in my room and then I rolled it up and put it just like in the kitchen so I could vacuum the floor. I've actually never moved this rug and vacuumed under it since we moved in here and in the daytime my birds make a really big mess on this floor so I'm actually glad I picked up that rug and moved it because there was like a water bottle cap under there which is Cookie's fault. She loves water bottle caps and there was bird food and feathers and cat hair so yeah I think I'm gonna remind myself to do that from now on. Y'all, maybe this is a reminder for you. Move that rug, because you have no clue what's underneath it. <laughs> Okay y'all, now that my bedroom is all fresh and clean, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the kitchen. We're going to start cleaning up the kitchen now and I'm starting off by unloading my dishwasher and then I'm going to reload it.
Also, if you're watching this video right now and you have a toaster, this is your sign, honey. Go clean out that toaster. There is so many crumbs living in your toaster. Dump it upside down, shake it to death, and then pull out that little drawer. Oh my gosh, there was so many little, little toast crumbs in there. It was ridiculous. So, if you needed like a little reminder, a little uh, motivation, here it is. It's just, just go clean out the toaster, all right? Okay, so now I'm just gonna take everything off of my counter space and I'm gonna stick it on top of the stove so I can thoroughly wipe down my countertops. I am also going to be giving my coffee pot a good scrub because it has coffee stains in there. So I put a little bit of vinegar in there and some baking soda. I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit and then I'm gonna scrub it to death and you're gonna see how beautiful it is. So in my sink, I am filling it up with some water, some of the Fabuloso Complete, and I also added some of my dish soap in there, and I'm going to use that to wipe off my countertops.
So I wiped down the top of my stove with the glass cleaner and then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some baking soda on top and squeeze a fresh lemon on there as well and I'm gonna give it a good little scrubbing. So now I'm going to give my sink and my garbage disposal a little cleaning and I just sprinkle some baking soda all around and I threw a half of a lemon in there and then I squeezed the rest of a lemon in there and I'm going to rinse that baking soda down. I'm going to run some water. I'm going to run the garbage disposal and that is going to help get rid of all of the funky little smells that are living down in my garbage disposal. So I'm also going to be cleaning my little placemats and I just put them in the sink with some fresh water and a little bit of dish soap and I'm going to let them soak for a little bit and I'm going to do a little bit of scrubbing but nothing major and then I'm going to rinse them out and lay them out to dry.
I hope you are all enjoying this video so far. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking with me. I know this has been a long video, but I hope you guys like it regardless. Another quick reminder for you guys is to check the side and all around your stove because little things, little crumbs fall all down there like in between the cabinet and the ice box there was like dust and crumbs probably because my toaster is right there but there was also like little crumbs all like by the bottom of my stove so don't forget to check all them little crevices, y'all, because there is stuff hiding down there that you don't even know about. Mm -hmm.
Yay, so my kitchen is officially cleaned and now I'm moving on to the little office area over here. I'm not going to do any dusting or wiping down of anything um, in this little area of the room because I really didn't feel like it. Um, but I'm just going to vacuum and mop and stuff like that. And then we're going to do some cleaning on the other side of the room where um, the couch is and stuff. I have to be honest with y'all, I don't even know how I did this much cleaning on this day because when I woke up I had barely slept the night before I was so tired that I actually felt like a real-life zombie but it had been like a few days since I had cleaned so it needed to be cleaned in here but I decided to go all out on this day and I swear even watching this video while I'm editing it I'm like how did you even do that girlfriend I'm telling you guys I felt dead but you know, sometimes you just gotta get up. No matter how you feel, you gotta get up and get her done. So while I was in the middle of cleaning, my mom ended up calling me. So if you see me with the phone to my ear, that's what I'm doing. I'm talking to my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, hey girl. Okay, so now that I'm done with that side of the room, I'm going to go ahead and clean the living room. And the first thing I'm going to do over here is lint roll my box of roses. <laughs> 
and it's okay if you think I'm crazy for doing this, but the thing is, this is my forever roses, okay? You know those little roses that kind of live for a really long time? Okay, they come in this gorgeous black velvet box. My cats love to go near those roses. They don't bother the roses, but they rub their body against the box and their little white hairs just attach to that velvet, like extreme, okay? So I'm lint rolling it, all right? Don't judge me, that's just what I'm doing. So for these blinds out here in the living room, I did not feel like vacuuming them like I did in the bedroom, okay? I just didn't feel like it. So I took a little paper towel and I just wiped them down real quick. That was as good as that was gonna get. So now I'm just taking everything off of the couch, which is just blankets and pillows, and I am going to vacuum the entire couch because it's black and it's covered in the cat hair. So I'm gonna vacuum it all up and then I'm gonna give it a little scrub down.
I know it probably looked like what I was doing was just like easy peasy lemon squeezy, you know, vacuuming the entire couch and then wiping it down, but this literally killed me. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to die. You're going to see my face in a minute. I look at the camera like, somebody help me. <laughs> I thought I was going to die after doing all of that. That was not easy and that was not fun. No. So now I'm going to vacuum my throw pillows a little bit. And if you're wondering if I do this kind of cleaning every day, the answer is no. And I do not vacuum my pillows, okay? But the cats are always all over these pillows and blankets. And these dear little pillows were covered in cat hair, but you couldn't tell because they're white. But when I got a closer look, I was like, oh my gosh, these actually look like a cat or something. There was so much cat hair on them. So I'm just doing a little vacuuming. I know like my regular viewers, y'all know I don't do this much cleaning, this much detail cleaning anyway. Uh, but like if you're new here, you're probably watching this thinking, uh, is this chick crazy vacuuming her pillows? I mean, I am crazy, but yeah, I don't do this kind of stuff every day. Mm -mm.
All right, so I finished cleaning up the office and the living room and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and cut on my little wax warmer here. And I wanted to show you guys this new wax melt we got the other day at Walmart. It is the best smelling ever. It's called Wild Lavender and Linen. And you wouldn't think that it would be the best smell ever, but it is. You've got to go to Walmart and you got to smell it because it's amazing. So now I'm just putting my cat's food and water bowls back to where they belong. I had to move them to vacuum and mop in that area. But now I'm going to start on the bathroom. I'm going to be using my iVac and I'm just going to sweep my bathroom floor and um, sweep all of the whatever up into the iVac which is a motion sensored vacuum and it is the bomb.com. Well, actually, I kind of got ahead of myself. That's not even what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now is getting rid of some garbage and picking up some stuff off the floor, moving my dirty clothes basket, and I'm going to wipe down my bathroom counter first, and then I'm going to do all the sweeping, okay? Okay, so now that I'm done cleaning my floor, I'm gonna go ahead off camera and clean my toilet because it needs cleaned and I'm also going to empty out the litter box and I really don't think y'all wanna watch me do that. So yeah, I'm gonna do it off camera. Okay, so I finished cleaning everything else in my bathroom and now I'm gonna make this little mixture of vinegar and the Dawn dish soap and I'm gonna put it in my little scrubber. And yeah, this was the first time I ever tried this and let me tell you, it worked so good. I love this mixture and I love the little scrubby brush. Um, I didn't measure it, I just like poured whatever in there, it don't matter to me. 
And uh, this little scrubby thing is cool though. You just push the button on top and it makes the mixture come out. And then you can just scrub whatever you want to death, girl. But I will tell you, it was a stinker. Because that vinegar, you know, ugh, it was stinky, but it did a good job. So that's all that matters. So now that I'm done cleaning everything in my bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and give my shower curtain a little spray of that fabric softener mixture because it just smells so good. And this is actually the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, leave me some comments down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Oh, and I'm also using my little Febreze plug-in, which smells amazing by the way. See you next time. Bye!